How's it going, y'all? So, I'm on my lunch break, and uh, I'm doing a screen capture to show you some vehicles that I recently purchased for my collection. I'm just going to go through the photographs because I have not gotten them yet. They're in the mail, and some of them I just paid for. But the first one up is uh, right here. 18th annual collectors nationals as you can see it has the dinner dinner sticker for Phil Reichman and his autograph That is a super cool one that I have that I'm glad to have now Because I didn't have it pretty sure and I actually have two other cars in this collection which I believe is the Nova you know the uh rattlesnake roof one and it's I think it's a pretty low number um, if I remember correctly so it's pretty cool I have that and I have the gasser but the gasser I believe is loose uh, so it's really cool to get this one um, as you've heard in my previous videos I'm a big fan of autographs that's a cool casting anyway in my opinion no I mean yeah those made um, I don't remember exactly how many it's a convention one so it's probably gonna be like 2000 or uh, something along those lines uh, This is gonna be the one I started dinner stickers. I don't have any dinner stickers, but check that out. So I will have my first Dinner sticker car. I don't think I have any with a dinner sticker, but I actually have another one but Anyway, so I'm gonna close that out. The number is um, 431 on that car. I got coming with his signature uh, that's not what I would consider a real low number, but I do like it. Um, for me, 200 or less, 5% or less is what I would, I would go for. But I do like this because 431 is not a bad number. And it has the dinner sticker. What, what sold me on it, not so much the number, but the uh, dinner sticker. And it is autographed by uh, Phil Raymond Reichman. I don't know how to say his name. I apologize. But himself. Very cool. Next one I got... Uh, 14th annual collectors collectors nationals man I cannot speak today uh, collector number I put up here as 1750 this one I definitely know has a limited amount of them produced which is actually in my book which I'm not gonna waste a lot of time in this video on that but we'll quickly um, there are 2600 of these made and that one is autographed by Larry Wood, Brandon, all kinds of folks. You guys can see him, Chris. It's very, very cool. Um, I love Ghostbusters, by the way. I don't have many 118 scale cars in my collection just because I like, I like value. I like a rarity. The autographs on that, awesome. Um, I like movie memorabilia. But this in particular, the Ghostbusters... I have two of the 118 scale. I wish I had it with me right now. I'd show you, um, but it's just too far to go get it for the for the video. But yeah, uh, very cool. I have two 118s of this casting just because it's cool, and I don't really collect 118 that much because it takes up a lot of space too. Uh, but that's a cool one. I bought almost the entire collection from the seller. But this is one of them. The next one in that collection, the Volkswagen T1 Drag Bus collector number. $17.99 as you can see up here again that's not really what sold me because of that in particular casting there are 2400 made so 200 less than the Ghostbusters here's something outside I don't know what it is but yep same Larry Wood signed it Chris signed it Brendan signed it not sure um, exactly who this is so if you guys want to tell me, that'd be great. I mean, I could find out, I'm pretty sure, but I don't know at the moment. Um, I don't collect a lot of the Volkswagens like that, but they're very cool. I do have a few really nice ones in my collection that I do enjoy. And of course, this piece being autographed and all that, awesome. Um, so definitely adding that one to the Ghostbusters that I got coming. Going to the next one. This also, 14th Annual Collectors Nationals. All the autographs. I absolutely love it. That one there, 2000 made. That is collector number 390. Dinner sticker, second dinner sticker car 
in my collection. As you can tell, just by the way I'm acting, I'm super excited to get these. Uh, just pay for them today. So it's going to take maybe a week or so. Hopefully they get here very quickly. Um, you know, because I've <laughs> paid some money for these cars. But uh, I haven't bought, like I said in my last video, for like a month and a month and a half or so. Uh, so that did allow me to save up some. I did get that one for the 400 that I paid that I told you about, the Auto World. Just because those GT40 Golfs are awesome. I want to collect them. But I've seen these. I've seen all the autographs. Is It was all this... This Nationals, I was, and this is a sweet ride. Way, in my opinion, that, that is way under. What's going on here? Oh, that's my chip. It's just, just way under, like, rated. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Um, definitely paid quite a bit for this, more than I probably would have, except it has a dinner sticker. I know, I know, I probably paid a bit more than you know, but, but it's so cool. I had to have it since I already bought all the other fourteen annual nationals i'm gonna put these in cobles anyway has a dinner sticker everything a lot a nice low 390 number very cool happy to have it in my collection next one again 14th annual nationals i am missing one because there's four not including the uh dinner sticker the dodger roger dodger was not part of the four so there is one i am missing i will have to look for and try to acquire um in the collection this one collector number okay here's the hemi all right this is really cool too oh this is like a super cool car does it have the collector number on there it's probably in the photo behind it 2000 produced 2000 produced very cool Got my book thing out the way. I just made notes, you know. Plus, I wanted to see how much I was willing to pay for some of these. Um, obviously, with all the autographs and all that stuff, I was willing to pay more than what people would pay for. So, so you got the value that the market puts it at, and then you have somebody like me, a collector that likes autographs, rare numbers, uh, dinner stickers, all kinds of things. And for me, sometimes I just spend, you know, just whatever. I'm like, whatever. I don't. Yeah, I want it. I don't care. You know, and that's what makes it fun. You know, when when it's all about, oh, you know, this is too much, this is too much, or people saying overpriced. When you bring money into it, you lose you lose the the fun of the hunt. You know, like did I overpay a bit for some of this stuff? Probably. But again, I want it for my collection. I'm gonna keep it. Do I always overpay for stuff? No. I, I look at the market. I know what I know values, I know what they're worth. But sometimes I'm just like, as long as it's not insane, you know, like you're charging a thousand for a hundred dollar car, obviously I won't do that. But if somebody's like, okay, this car's worth a hundred bucks, I'd like to get one thirty five out of it. Some people would be like, that's only worth a hundred dollars. Whatever. Even with the autographs, you could say, okay, it was only worth about one twenty. They're, they're still overcharging, you know, a little bit, but honestly, I don't care. I wanted it. So that's 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 the that's collecting and you know putting more toward the collector side of it than just thinking about the money and what you can sell it for later. I like that I can resell my cars. I've said it a million times, but I'm not gonna, I'm not buying these to resell or nothing like that. These are awesome. I'm gonna hold these for years. So yeah, there's some cars that if I want that casting, there's no special number, no autographs, no nothing. Yeah, I'm not gonna overpay for it. If somebody wants more than what it's worth, of course not. There's nothing making me want to do that. You know, it's just what the value of the car is. This one, has all these autographs. It's awesome. And all the other ones that I bought have autographs. That means more to me. I'll pay more for that. Uh, I believe this next photo is the number 367. And it's a 367. Again, I would consider um, 100 or less a low number because I'm a 5% kind of guy. But it's not bad. I'll take it. And then uh, this here I actually got on eBay. Um, you can see where I paid right here. I paid 107.17 post taxes. Uh, I've been seeing this pop up in the groups a lot. I'm sure a lot of you have. I just seen. I like Monopoly. I love Monopoly growing up. Um, I'm all about finances too. I like finance stuff. I like being on top of my finances. I like buying stocks and all that stuff. But that's not what this video is about. But still, so when I seen some white lightning monopolies, and there's still a lot on eBay, and I'm probably gonna pick a few of them up over time. Very cool. 
I know you can get Monopoly cards that are just regulars, which I actually have like four or five regular Monopoly cards. Gave them to my dad. My dad likes to collect a little bit. He's not crazy into it like I am. Um, but he likes to collect just the basic, you know, simple cards, no chases, nothing like that. Uh, you know, it's, you know, kind of different uh, responsibilities in life. So he gets some of those ones. I'll buy him some regular ones every once in a while. But me, and particularly my personal private collection, majority of all of it's RLCs, convention pieces, chase cars, signature autographs, you name it, uh, white lightnings, auto world chase pieces like the GT40s. Uh, way, way up more rare vehicles is what I like. You know, I do have some cars that aren't super rare, but they're just cool. But most of what I have, um, because of the space that I have available to me, I try to have quite a bit of space in my, in my home, my property and all that, but I don't want it to be cluttered either. So I want to have a lot of walk around space, a lot of relaxed space too. So I pick it certain things and then I sell other things. So yeah, these are my uh, pickups. This is the last one. I don't have anything after that. I just wanted to share with you with the photos because I do not actually have any in hand right now. They're going to be in the mail. But yep, so that there, all those cars that I bought, that's, uh, yeah, so that's like a grand, a grand 50 for all those cars. So yeah, but worth it for me. Um, especially because I just like sold a week, you know, back to my job, a vacation. I was like, yeah, I'll take a paycheck. You can have the time back. So yeah, it's like getting it, well, I want to say free, but you know, managing it, it's not coming out of normal uh, pay. Like I said, you don't buy cars on credit and don't buy cars and money you don't have. I cash in a vacation week to get paid for it. Got me some sweet rides. Doesn't even affect my normal paycheck for my normal month. But anyway, uh, y'all have a good one. Just want to share with you these cars. Really cool. Uh, have fun. Happy hunting. Peace.